Now, you're watching Wave 3 News Listens Live. And it is a celebration. With your host, John Ramsey. And welcome into the Thursday edition of Wave 3 Listens Live. It's a beautiful fall day. We have a beautiful show for you. Let's look on what's on tap today. Here we go. Here's the lineup. Uh, Herlin Robinson is here with us. And this man can really sing. And he is singing about Halloween for Huntington's disease. This is a really cool event. It happens this Saturday, Saturday, Mercury Ballroom. We'll tell you all about it. Chef John Veronese is having a bourbon dinner at Veronese Restaurant on Frankfurt Avenue. If you love good bourbon, if you're a connoisseur, you're going to love this dinner. The Peterson Farm Brothers are going to help you save money and keep it simple. And AARP is active in helping you know the issues so that you make an intelligent vote. With us once again is Charles Williams. He is on the Executive Council of AARP of Kentucky. Charles, welcome back to the show. Thank you, John. Okay, before we get into the issue at hand and what we're really going to focus on, let's talk a little bit about AARP Kentucky and exactly what you guys do. Help us out here. Well, let's start off with making a clarification on AARP. AARP is no longer the American Association of Retired People. Oh, yeah, okay. That went away in 1999. That's done. But the demographics show that we need to look at a wider audience. As a matter of fact, I got my first invitation to AARP when I was 45. I'm a couple of years older now, but we won't talk Just about that. Just a couple. Just a couple of years. Yeah. And, uh, be that as it may. So now the demographics show that the 50 plus is, are the people who we are focusing on now. So we want to make sure that uh, when Dr. Ethel Percy Andrus formed AARP starting in 1958, her original concept was to address people whose financial situations were not where they should be. Those folks who had worked hard all of their lives and they, they were finding themselves destitute. This upset her and she was an educator and an activist. All right, I like the sound of this. And, and I think it is important that that age group, that age demographic, 50 plus yes. is what you're targeting here. So you, you took a recent survey, and what was the objective of this survey? What was it about? What did you want to know? We wanted to know what Kentuckians were thinking. We're, as you know, we're coming up on um, uh, the voting season, uh, November 7th, I believe it is. And we want to make sure we get the word out to everyone to get out and vote. Voting is one of the most important privileges and freedoms oh, no that we have in this nation. As a veteran myself, I become upset when I realize the blood, sweat, and tears that was put into the making of this country. And when people don't take advantage of a system that was set up for them by veterans like myself and others who've paid the ultimate price to fight for what they want this country to be, that's kind of upsetting. No, I, I understand. And, and by the way, thank you for your service. Thank you. And what did the survey show you? What are some of the important issues to folks like myself who are 50 plus? Okay. Well, we zeroed in on several questions. They, the survey interviewed 800 people in the 50 plus category across the state of Kentucky. AARP in Kentucky has over 460,000 members. And that's some voting power there. Charles. That's some voting power right here. 38 million. AARP members across the nation. So that's voting power too, and that's what we're putting all of our emphasis on. We're getting those folks to vote. So there were three key issues that were we found out from this survey. Okay. The, the things that are electoral issues with the 50 plus demographic, lowering health care costs, jobs in the economy. Makes perfect sense. And addressing rising prescription costs. Ooh. See, all of those make sense because as we age, of course, these are issue, issues that we're all going to face. Perhaps you're wanting to work, you're of course worried about health care, and then prescription costs. So, with that being said, you know, when you educate people, when you want to show exactly how can you educate them about these issues, how can they become, we talked about the voting power of 50 plus, mm -hmm. but if they want to work on that agenda right there, how can they all come together, Charles? How do you make this happen? Well, AARP across uh, the state is getting involved. We are going to various functions where the gubernatorial candidates are, uh, are debating. We've gone to places like Fancy Farm. We are out all across the state of Kentucky letting people know what the key issues are to make sure that they vote for the person who will best represent their interests. 
Okay, is is the key to me is the, the what we're really looking at is it the governor's race? Is that the key here? The gubernatorial race. It is. Yes. There's no question about it. Yes. So here's what I'm curious about: Do you hold these candidates? And I'm not going to mention any by name. I don't want to influence anyone. But do you hold them to the fire? Do you meet with them one on one? Because with this kind of voting power, I think they want to hear from you. They want to know what you think. So you know, do you hold them to the fire and say, "I want you to speak to these specific issues that you just mentioned"? Those issues have been brought to their attention. As a matter of fact, just recently in between the dates of August 15th and the 25th, uh, AARP interviewed the gubernatorial candidates and put them on what we call a 60-second interview. We posed th three questions to them. How will you lower prescription drug prices for older Kentuckians and their families? Perfect. Will you oppose any more taxes on retirees and reinstate Kentucky's retirement tax exemption to its original amount of 41000 $110. And what will you do to help Kentucky family caregivers support their older loved ones at home and out of costly nursing homes? When those questions were posed to them, we had them on the camera. We got their input on what they want to do. And there are no sound bites. There's no fuzz. We took all of the joking out of the game. So now we want the viewers to go to aarp.org slash Kentucky uh, vote KY. Okay, vote KY. so, and this is unfiltered. You Like you said, you're not trying, trying to direct someone. No. But you want them to be really uh, knowledgeable about the issues yeah. so that you make an educated vote and you feel good about your vote. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's bear in mind, let's keep in mind the fact that AARP is nonpartisan. We don't have any political p action packs. We don't get involved in what the candidate um, looks like of what their political affiliation is, that's not what we do. It's AARC, about the issues. Does it, we, it is about the issues that are important to the 50 plus demographic. And if that candidate doesn't address your needs, then then at least make an informed decision. And that's what we're about here. I, I love hearing this because I, th I do think there are times when we get a little bit jaded by commercials. And yes. those obviously do have an agenda. Mm -hmm. You're saying, okay, let's talk about specific issues. Yeah. Let's get specific answers. Let's show it to you unfiltered. And then you make an educated decision that works for you. And yes, I do agree. Anyone 50 plus is probably going to want to hear and see and know about the issues you just discussed. And they can continuously go to aarp.org. And just after they put the slash in, they can look in, look up voter uh, information. They can look up other things that AARP is involved in, such as caregiving and fraud and so on and so on. So we want to make sure that through the informed, inf through the information that AARP provides, they're able to, like we've said before, make informed decisions. If someone wants to get involved more with AARP, uh, how do they do that, Charles? How, they, how can they make that happen? Well, we, we would like for them to become members. Number one, for $16 a year, the wealth of information and resources that are provided to an individual are, are, are astronomical. And uh, there are also tremendous discounts that are available to our members. So um, there are several ways, and AARP is, always has something out. And, of course, you can call our state office. Don't have that number off the top of my head, but we can call our state office and, and just ask the question. And we also have a, a nice little pamphlet here that tells about many things, the Member Benefits Guide, and there are literally hundreds there, of there things. There are a lot of people aren't aware of that you, they should take advantage of. Right? Absolutely, That's absolutely. Right. Well, I, here's what I'm wondering now, Charles, before we go. Mm -hmm. Why don't you run for office? Uh -huh. Charles, let me look at you. <laughs> you, you. You know the issues. You're articulate. You're a veteran. <laughs> hey, I'm voting for you right now. Here we go. I'm checking the box. Hey, hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I stand Here it on goes. this oh, no, Go ahead. No, no, no. You should. You should. No, you should run. But I, I'm telling you, the voting power of people 50 plus, yes. it is amazing. But we want them to make intelligent votes. So, again, the website they should go to, if they want to see some of these videos and see where the gubernatorial candidates stand, where I'm do going, they go again? I'm going to be very specific. It is called the Video Voter Guide. It is online at aarp.org forward slash vote KY.
That's right. Vote That's KY. Mm -hmm. and, and when Charles Williams runs for governor, I'll let yeah. you know. And, and, and I'll, 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 I'm, I'm going to be the guy that heads it up, okay? Oh, boy. Oh, I'll, boy. I've, I've already started this going right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity to announce my, Never mind. You'd be fantastic. <laughs> I, I will be. I'll be your campaign manager, okay? I'll take care of it. All right. Thank you so much, Charles Williams. Thank really you. Appreciate thank you, John. AARP. Check them out online. And, yes, know about the issues that pertain to you if you are 50-plus or if you have a loved one who, are, who is 50-plus. All right. Coming up here. Here. We're going to talk about bourbon dinners. We're going to talk about how you can save money using credit cards. And yes, we've got a Halloween bash coming up as well with a friend of mine. We'll talk about that on Wave 3 Listens. It's Thursday edition. Welcome in.